aspect of urban nationalism in the state so how do you see this and uh, thoughts on that sir i think this is an extremely important piece of legislation that the maharashtra government has brought in and especially keeping in mind that there are similar legislations that have already been brought in in the other naxal infested states like urissa chatisgarh there was a need that was felt that even in urban areas naxalism is growing and at least there are attempts and uh, uh, very serious uh, uh, you know there's a very serious motivated movement to infiltrate uh, urban areas you know with this uh, ideology the naxal ideology so it was felt that uh, you know something needs to be brought in a very strong piece of legislation that has uh, teeth in it that has a uh, strong uh, you know it has imprisonment uh, prescribed between 3 and 7 years and it also has a very important facet which is that assets can be confiscated now so i think uh, my only my only wonder why such a such an important piece of legislation was not brought in earlier because it touches upon uh, the sovereignty of india and these forces as we very you know we know very well they have not only over the years they have tried to sow the seeds of dissent amongst uh, the poorest but they have also tried to essentially break up india so the thought is that why wasn't such a bill why wasn't such a law brought in much earlier to combat this this evil so i i think it's an excellent move very welcome but some people think it's so that the government wants to make this big new law right before an election they wonder if it is really necessary or if it is might be used to cause problem for innocent people the law would make it easier to arrest people and harder for them to get out of jail that's why it's important for everyone to think carefully about whether this law is a good idea or not sir no these are valid concerns mm-hmm. and i think in any law which prescribes imprisonment or which has features that allow for confiscation of assets these concerns will arise so this law is no different the test is that what is the underlying trouble that it seeks to remedy and naxalism i think there's not a single uh, right thinking individual in this country who would deny that naxalism is a major challenge it has to be fought very aggressively so i think in that sense these concerns that uh, citizens will be wrongly imprisoned or or they you know their liberties will be curbed i don't think this is a fair criticism for two reasons one there are checks and balances within this law itself there is an advisory board before which first the case will go to whether where uh, confiscation of assets is concerned whether that is concerned and second india has a very robust judicial framework mm. there is judicial review so any person aggrieved or feeling that something illegal wrong or unfair has happened can easily approach the the high courts of any state and the bombay high court has a very long tradition of being uh, at the forefront of preserving civil liberties mm. so these concerns if you ask me these are entirely misplaced and i think those who are suggesting that strong steps should not be taken against uh, naxals or those who promote naxalism should really look in the mirror as to who they are supporting and i think therein lies the answer